a whirlwind of developments has hit OpenAI. CEO Sam Altman is rethinking open sourcing, launching a new mini AI model, and dealing with a personal lawsuit, all while overseeing a potential half trillion dollar data center project. As tech giants make strategic moves, the AI industry might be on the brink of a major shift. But before we jump into today's video, do me a quick favor. Smash that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Sam Altman, OpenAI's CEO, participated in a Reddit AMA and made some surprising admissions. He acknowledged that OpenAI may have been on the wrong side of history regarding open sourcing AI. Originally founded as a nonprofit dedicated to open research, OpenAI gradually moved toward closed proprietary models, especially with the release of ChatGPT. Now Altman seems to be reconsidering. He even praised Meta for open sourcing its Llama models and highlighted a rising Chinese startup, DeepSeek, which has made waves with its own open source approach. DeepSeek claims to have developed a model comparable to OpenAI's GPT. For for just $5.58 million using 2000 NVIDIA H800 GPUs, a fraction of OpenAI's billion dollar budgets. DeepSeek's cost efficient AI claims have sparked skepticism. Some believe the company may have sidestepped US chip export restrictions or even stolen OpenAI's research. Microsoft is now investigating whether DeepSeek improperly used OpenAI's data to accelerate its development. If these suspicions are confirmed, DeepSeek could face major legal trouble. Despite the controversy, DeepSeek is disrupting the AI landscape. Tech giants like Microsoft and Meta have spent $80 billion and $65 billion respectively on AI infrastructure in 2024, with plans to invest even more in 2025. Meanwhile, OpenAI is reportedly raising another $25 to $40 billion at a valuation of up to $340 billion. DeepSeek's claim that top-tier AI can be built on a much smaller budget is challenging the industry's long-held belief that bigger always means better. Even OpenAI is taking notes. Business Insider tested DeepSeek's DeepThink setting, which reveals its step-by-step -step reasoning. OpenAI's models like GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo don't display their intermediate thought process. Altman says OpenAI will introduce a similar feature, inspired by DeepSeek's transparency. Another potential shift for OpenAI is in model weight transparency. While companies like Meta and DeepSeek share the inner workings of their AI, OpenAI has been hesitant. Altman hinted at internal discussions on this, but stated it's not a priority, though it's at least on the table. Amidst all this, OpenAI has launched a new model, O3 Mini. Designed for efficiency and cost-effectiveness, it excels in science, math, and coding tasks. Users can adjust its reasoning level between low, medium, or high. ChatGPT Plus, Team, and Pro users get immediate access, while free users can try it with limited features. This release follows DeepSeek's R1 model, which has taken the AI world by storm. OpenAI's move seems like a direct response, aiming to stay competitive in the cost-performance race. Despite its success, DeepSeek is facing authenticity concerns. A tool called Originality AI tested its outputs and detected AI-generated content with 99% accuracy, suggesting its style closely resembles ChatGPT. This has fueled speculation that DeepSeek might have copied or distilled OpenAI's technology. Meanwhile, Google quietly rolled out an experimental update to its Gemini AI, designed for advanced math and programming. However, with the industry's attention fixed on DeepSeek, Google may need to rethink its AI strategy to stay relevant. Now for a massive power move. Altman is leading an ambitious $500 billion data center project called Stargate, backed by SoftBank, Oracle, and Abu Dhabi's MGX. The initiative aims to build the largest private computing infrastructure in history. Even President Trump appeared alongside Altman and other investors at a White House event. However, skepticism is mounting. SoftBank has a shaky track record, remember WeWork? MGX may already be stretched thin with $100 billion in other investments, and Oracle has only $11 billion in cash. Elon Musk has openly doubted that OpenAI has anywhere near the money needed. 
The project would require building power-hungry data centers across the U.S., but some question whether brute force computing is even the right long-term approach, especially given DeepSeek's cheaper alternative. In the midst of all this, Altman faces a serious personal crisis. His sister, an Altman, has filed a lawsuit accusing him of abuse from 1997 to 2006, seeking $75,000 in damages. While the sum is relatively small, the allegations could significantly impact OpenAI's reputation. The Altman family has denied the claims, and Sam has not publicly commented beyond that. If the lawsuit gains traction, it could become a major issue, not just for Altman, but for OpenAI's brand. In another move, OpenAI has introduced ChatGPT Gov, a version designed for government agencies that need AI on private, secure networks. It runs on Microsoft's Azure Government Cloud, allowing agencies to use AI without exposing sensitive data to public AI models. This is OpenAI's response to widespread bans on generative AI due to security concerns. With AI giants pouring billions into infrastructure, deep seek challenging cost assumptions, and OpenAI considering open sourcing, the industry is at a critical juncture. Meanwhile, Google is regrouping after its Gemini update got overshadowed and Altman's lawsuit adds another layer of uncertainty. Will lean, efficient AI models outshine massive data center expansions? Will legal battles shape the future of AI? Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit that like button, and subscribe for more AI updates because at this rate, next week could bring an even bigger surprise. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.